I am Elise Suthman and you are watching CelebrityHotspot.com. How did you get your start in acting? Well, this is a long story. Um, well, I have seven, si seven siblings in total, so there's like six others than me, and I'm the youngest, of course. Um, and when I was littler, we were all in theater in Dayton, Ohio, and so I kind of got that start in showbiz. And then my brother um, came out to L.A. and started doing auditions and stuff, so I was kind of, I was watching, and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then, um, then eventually I came, we all moved out here, and I was watching, and I started... I think I actually went to an audition with him for like Beverly Hills Chihuahua or something and they just they asked me to audition as well so that was it was random but I just I liked it and so I continued to do it and it's what I do now and I love it I live it it's my life what was it like working on Wendell and Vinny and Dead Time Stories oh gosh um, I love, I just love working on set in general. It's so exciting and thrilling. Um, and Wendell and Vinny, it was such a great learning experience because there was the great comedians, like, and there's Jerry Trainer, so I got to watch a lot of him, and he did every take different. And so you always got to learn, and he made sure that everyone you would always laugh, so I, I was laughing nonstop. Um, but it was so much fun, and just to be on the same set as them, it was like almost starstruck. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but it was really fun. And with Dad Time Stories, that was really fun because um, I worked, it was in a orchard. I always say orchard, but it's orchard. It's orchard. Um, and that was really fun. And it was, the director, he kept us always active because we were always had to be out of breath. And so we would have to be like jogging and like running up and down and like stepping on the oranges and stuff. It was, it was really fun. Um, and that was just really, really fun because um, the whole cast and stuff we were all supposed to be like kooky and the weird kind of guys and like the cousins and I'm like oh my god um and so that was really fun really funny and I liked working with the monster it was like a puppet but it was really fun he was scary he was scary he had teeth he was like Argh. what show would you like to appear on in the future there's so many shows out there that are so good I love them all but I have to say either Pretty Little Liars or Smash. <laughs> what is your favorite part about being an actress? Well, I love almost everything about being an actress. And the auditions, I mean like with almost every actor or, or actress, um, it's the same thing. Like you never want to go to the auditions. You just want to go straight to set and just, yeah, you, you don't want to have to go through that whole process. but. After you, it's just more rewarding that way, I think. Like, when you go to the audition, you actually get it. You're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, and you're so excited, it's so rewarding. But my favorite part is probably to be on set. <laughs> and there's the crafty, and of course, the lovely cast, and the director, and it's all so much fun. I like set. <laughs> it's so thrilling. And, mm. If you could meet any actor or actress, who would it be? <sighs> there's a lot. Um, they're all so talented. Uh, for actor, I would go with Eddie Murphy because he cracks me up so much. Um, and actress, I would go with Anne Hathaway because she is amazing. And that's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. When you're not working, what do you like to do in your free time? Well, huh, I always have school, so whenever I get a break from school, I'm very excited. Um, I like to do video games, which my mother's not very happy about. <laughs> um, and, but I also like art. I love, love art. And so I, I'll do like paintings or drawings. I usually just like look up pictures of animals or something and draw them. Or people. People are nice. Um, and so I like art very much in video games. How would you describe yourself in three words? Three words. Me. Hmm. Kooky. Creative and colorful. Mm -hmm. I like colors. <laughs> if you were stranded on a desert island and could only be three things, what would they be and why? Well, I would like to know how I got on this desert island. I mean, uh -huh, it's a crazy story. Um, but I, I would want to bring a big tub of gummy bears, um, maybe some sprites, and my cat. <laughs> I'd like to bring it. He's soft. And you know, you gotta have some company and he doesn't talk back to you, so. And why would you want those three things? 
I, well, gummy bears, I love gummy bears. And Sprite, you gotta have some sort of beverage. It's flavorful. And winter, I mean, my cat. He's soft. He's good company, sometimes. Um, and, you know, it, it's going to get pretty lonely on a desert island. And Maybe he'd protect you, huh? Yeah, sure, he can protect me, sure. <laughs> he's, a, he's a wimp. <laughs> what is your favorite board game? I like board games. Um, well, I, I usually have two. I like Monopoly, but my all-time favorite is probably going to be Mousetrap. Because there's so many little gadgets that you have to go through, and it's so much fun. But it's really easy to lose them. It's like, you ha we have one in Ohio, and every time I get to it, it's like so exciting, but then not all the pieces are there, so it's like tear. Do you have any goals for 2013? Goals. I have many goals. For 2013, let's see. Uh, I would just, just want to keep working and keep going at it and try... Try maybe book something, you know, have a nice little little booking, that'll always be nice. <laughs> okay, um, do you have any upcoming projects? Upcoming projects, well, I have multiple films that are coming out, so I'm very excited about that. I have um, a short film called Josephine, and a webisode that is called Girl Trip that's coming out, and also a feature film, um, I play the young lead, and it is called Play James Play, and it's a true story about a... Um, the guy who eventually committed suicide, so it's very interesting to see the journey that he made with his sister. And I'm just very happy to be a part of those films. And so I'm excited, so excited to see them come out and see the finished project. And on TV? And on TV, of course, there's Dead Time Stories and Wendell and Vinny and all those things. And definitely watch out for Nick for Dead Time Stories because it's an amazing show and you will love it. <laughs> yes. Do you have any social networking accounts where your fans can stay connected with you? I have multiple social networking accounts. Um, I have Instagram, it's just Elise Luthman, plain old Elise Luthman. Um, and then I have Facebook, which is Elise M, capital M dot Luthman. Check for the M. If there's no M, it's not me. Um, and Twitter, which is um, McKenna9 Elise. I had to kind of get kooky with that one. Um, so it's McKenna, Nine, Elise, and then for Twitter and Facebook, Elise M. Luthman and Instagram. And so do you have fakes on Twitter and Facebook? I do, I do watch out. I have fakes on Twitter and fakes on Facebook. Not, I don't, I haven't checked on Instagram, but, um, I have fakes, so watch out for them. <laughs> so the only real one is? Elise M. Luthman. I said that, didn't I? I said for, okay, so Facebook, the real one is Lisa M. Luthman. You've got to search for the M. And on Twitter? Um, and on Twitter, the real one is McKenna Nine Elise. It's... McKenna what? McKenna Nine Elise. It's snazzy. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Elise. Oh, this, this is my kitty, Winter. He has, I'm sure, crazy eyes. He's kind of hyper right now. But he's the really soft, cute little adorable one. Um, no, this is Winter. He's the one that I would go on a desert island with rare. So you want to wave goodbye? Pay attention, Winter. Bye from Winter and I. Make Winter wave. Bye. Make Winter wave. You are bad at waving. He doesn't even care. He's like, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye. Why don't you say... Hey, Suthman, and you've been watching CelebrityHotspot.com.